It's been almost 50 years since uh, here the President Nixon started the war on cancer. Back then when it was started in the early 70s, cancer was the second leading cause of death in this country. Um, we're donating hundreds upon hundreds of millions of dollars. Today it's still the second leading cause of death. Are we making any progress in that? The short answer is why, and oh, right? No. And the why for that is because what kills most cancer patients? Is it the primary or is it the metastasis? It's a metastasis. A breast cancer uh, is not going to be the cause of death of patients. It's when it spreads to the liver or the lungs or the bones or the brain. In research, 80% of the money is spent on studying the primary and 20% on seeing how they could affect metastasis. So the money should be inverted, right? More money should be spent on the metastasis and not on the primary. In Denmark, in Norway, in those Scandinavian countries, it was just recently published that now cancer is the number one cause of death, surpassing heart disease. And we think of those Scandinavian countries as the happiest countries in the world, right? Uh, uh, very progressive medical systems. And, and now, cancer is the number one cause of death. And I believe, and we all believe, that uh, that's where we're heading in the U.S. It's very close now. It's sort of like Nick and Tuck, right? Or Tuck and Nick, however yeah, that is. Exactly. <laughs> so, um, so we have not won the war on cancer. I had a patient recently that was diagnosed 20 years ago with a breast cancer, and uh, she received chemotherapy and she did a lot of natural therapies and she did well, she made it, right? Uh, by the way, I think that the patients that respond and are in remission with chemotherapy, it's not because of the chemotherapy necessarily, it's because of their um, inherent factors, their own immune system, the genetic constitution. How is their genetic constitution? In iridology, when we look at the iris of the eye, the colored part of the eye, we're able to see if a patient or a person is born with a weak, moderate, or strong genetic constitution, right? And people like George Burns, right, who did everything, smoked, drank, did everything, lived to be past 100, right, or 100, and that's because he has a strong genetic constitution. And so those patients that survive chemotherapy have a strong genetic constitution, in my opinion, and we're doing some testing now with looking at the iris and then correlating patient's outcome. Uh, but this patient, going back to the patient who had cancer 20 years ago, uh, she had a recurrence, and it's really not a recurrence because it never went away completely because chemotherapy doesn't kill cancer stem cells, right? Uh, nor does radiation. So now she has a, a new type of breast cancer and they offered her the same chemotherapy that they gave her 20 years ago. But now she's 20 years older, you know, she has other health problems, and she said no this time, because she almost died initially from the first chemo 20 years ago. So she tells me, Dr. Jimenez, where is the progress in, you know, in cancer therapies? They're offering me the same chemo that they gave me 20 years ago. So, um, you know, it's about uh, programs uh, like this one, Scott, where uh, people can be educated, you know, people can get more uh, assurance that they don't have to blindly follow the conventional way. And it's okay if they want to integrate, right? If they want to integrate the conventional with the alternative, it's always up to that patient. And by the way, it's not really alternative, right? Because this yeah. was the first medicine that existed before the pharmaceutical drugs and, and radiotherapy. But, uh, you know, it's one step at a time, uh, programs like this making a difference, and uh, hopefully the next time we talk, we will have uh, made many, many more strides in, in, um, in cancer. I know we have since the last time we got mm -hmm. together.
Thank you for watching this video and thank you to those who have supported us on Patreon. Remember, that's the best way to make sure that we can keep bringing you this kind of content. If you'd like to sign up and support us, there's a link right here on the right. Also make sure to sign up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Again, that's on the right as well. And stay up to date with the latest videos. A couple of the newest ones are right on the bottom of this page as well. Thanks again for watching.